It's time for the third installment of our NCAA 08 simulation series on the PlayStation 2, and we got Alabama and Miami at the Georgia Dome in real life at the Mercedes-Benz Dome on Saturday. But Miami looking to finally be the ACC team to knock Alabama off in one of these season-opening non-conference games. Who do the boys pick? Lee Corso's going with Alabama. But at the start of the game, Miami looks like they have a little bit of juice. Bryce Young in his first start completes a pass to the Ohio State transfer, the juice man, Jamison Williams, who fumbles. But Miami doesn't do anything, and it leads to this very wild and illegal play. I've never seen anything like this before. This play is cursed. Look at that. You can't you can't do any of this stuff. But somehow it leads to Alabama's ball at the 35. Yeah, you got a kick catch interference there. And Alabama gets to start with the ball on their 35 yard line. And first play, Bryce Young, nice little juke there, and just splits the Miami defense. Oh, the U is the U is back, baby. Bryce Young goes all the way to the house for a 65 yard touchdown. Hell of a start to his career there. And he's at it again later in the first quarter. Again, first play of the drive. He hits running back Brian Robinson Jr. out of the backfield, who takes it 80 yards for the touchdown. Bama's living off the big play. But you know Miami's going to fight back with De'Eric King. And he hits Charleston Rambo. Nice catch in traffic there. And he hits him again here. Beautiful play design. Feathers it right in to Rambo for the touchdown. I had to include this play in here. You got to love these old video games. Look at that. That's a staple of NCAA 08 with the QB getting froze. But then De'Eric King turns the ball over. Josh Job with his first interception of the day. Yeah, that's right. He has a monster game in this one. And of course, Alabama, just like real life Alabama, capitalizes on it with a touchdown to Trayshawn Holden. But then Miami, they keep on fighting. And if you know anything about these simulations, this game loves receivers on option plays and Mike Harley scores there and just when it looks like Miami's going to get into half trailing 21-14 the juice man Jamison Williams strikes in his first game with Alabama for the long touchdown 58 yards and it's 28 to 14 Alabama at half big plays are really the difference there and if Miami can tighten up even just a little bit they're going to give themselves a chance to get back into this one and they do exactly that at the start of the second half because they pick off Young Give the ball to their offense in, with great field position. But unfortunately, this is where the game goes off the rails. Joe picks off King for his second interception of the day. Takes it to the house. Ooh, and he's just stunting a little bit. Sliders for excessive celebration penalties are all the way down, so he doesn't get flagged there. And then Miami, it just goes bad to worse because they turn the ball over again. And Bryce Young decides to, he gets a little surgical with it here. Goes a little triple option, cuts through into the Miami red zone, and then Treshawn Holden with his second touchdown of the day. This one, a rushing touchdown. And we've officially reached beatdown status. Derek King is taking shots left and right. Alabama gets the ball at the five-yard line, and Young throws his fourth touchdown of the day. His final line ends up being 14 of 20 passing, 320 yards, four touchdowns, one interception, eight carries for 85 yards, and one touchdown. Alabama fans, would you take that from Bryce Young on Saturday? I I think so. And the rest of this game and footage is just for you sickos that like watching this for some reason because you see the score. It's 55 to 14. Miami's done, but they keep playing at least. But then the backups come in. Tyler Van Dyke in at quarterback throws another pick six. Miami throws six interceptions in this game. The last one being to the star freshman everybody was talking about all offseason, Kool-Aid McKinstry with his first career pick. And yeah, you see that nine total turnovers. Alabama has four and they still win 65 to 21. Hopefully the actual game is better than this one was. But Alabama showing at least in the virtual world, they have not lost a step after winning that national championship last year. Hopefully the game is better, but I hope you guys enjoyed this simulation. I'll be back next week with a couple more on NCAA 08. Make sure to subscribe and tell me what you think.